Hey Crafty Peeps, it's Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. I'm here to show you another little shabby chic tutorial. Um, this is again using a Prima frame that I have painted with the Art Basics Heavy Gesso White uh, by Prima Marketing. You get a huge, huge tub, 17 fluid ounces. And this is uh, by Finnevar from Prima Marketing. Um, it's called the Heavy Gesso. So I painted it. Um, all over and now I'm fixing to spray it and I have picked out uh, two colors uh, Tiffany blue and moon shadow mist buccaneer bay blue now these are both by Lindy stamp gang and the reason why I'm choosing a blue is because the uh, vintage photo that you can find over on my Pinterest board and the link can be in the description box down below um, I chose this little girl I scaled it down to where it would fit the frame like that so now i'm just going to decorate the frame the first color i want to spray on there is the tiffany blue because i want a lot of blue highlight in here and you're probably like oh my gosh that does not look vintage don't worry don't worry be happy Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to use your heat gun and you're going to allow that heat gun to move that spray around. Because Tiffany Blue is a very beautiful turquoise color blue. Um, it has blue shimmers in it, like a, a deeper blue shimmer. Okay, so as you can see, beautiful. Is wrong? Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to, uh, moon shadows are a, they spray on brown, but what makes them fabulous is that they have different uh, micas in them. And this one has a blue mica. And it's called Buccaneer Bay Blue, and it's a moon shadow mist. You can see there it's sprayed on brown. So now I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, now if you can see, you have that brown with that blue shimmer in there and see how it looks worn and old looking right there. Very beautiful. So I'm going to put this in, next to my photo and see if I want to tone it down some. As you can see, it's really pretty. And I'm going to tone it down just a little bit more, so I'm going to add some more Buccaneer Bay Blue. And I'm getting really close because I really want uh, there we go. All right, let's try this.
right. Gorgeous. Look at that. It looks so vintage now. Just in two colors. So just to add some more character to the piece. Uh, I'm going to use uh, some rub and buff or um, some uh, Viva Decor. Let me locate. Oh, I, I remember to put it up. I'm sorry. Uh, or Eco Gold. Viva Decor. want you can use the Inca gold blue this is the blue one it's called aquarium and you can add more blue to it but I don't want to do that I want to I'm gonna choose do I want to add some gold or silvery hues hmm I'm gonna do gold and I'm just going and what I'm going to do is just highlight the raised areas like this. And it makes it look like a gilded, semi-gilded uh, piece. As you can see there. Bringing it on around. Don't forget to do the sides. And I'm not worried about the back because I'm going to be covering the back. Now look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Three products made it look like a gilded vintage frame. That is Lindy's Tiffany Blue. That is their uh, Starburst Mist. And Lindy's Moon Shadow Mist Buccaneer Bay Blue. Okay. I'm going to get rid of my trash. And now when I put it with that, it really makes the blue pop out of that photo. Okay. So let's prep the photo. And I printed this off on regular uh, computer paper. Nothing fancy. Okay. All right, just trim up the edges a little bit here. Right, so. All right, I'm gonna run it through my Xyron uh, three inch sticker maker. And make this a sticker. My Xyron sticker maker thingy broke, so I have to do it manually and just give it a firm press and then you have your sticker I'm not worried about it being off the edge there because that's all going to be cut away now you're going to get you a piece of chipboard let's see I got a piece of scrap here and you're going to peel and stick this on there like that and then I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to trim it down I put it on chipboard because I want my piece to um, have stability so as you can see and don't worry all that's going to be covered 
So now I'm just going to take my hot glue gun. Ah! I hate when I run out of glue sticks. Wish they had the never ending glue gun. Seriously. Okay. So. Press that down. And there you have it. A beautiful gilded frame with a beautiful vintage photo. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up some other supplies and we're going to turn this into a beautiful little hanging that you can hang on a door or a wall or that perfect little place that you need something. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now all I have done is I have glued a large piece of chain on this end using hot glue and a, lar and a smaller piece of chain on this end. Uh, with hot glue and of course this is the part that's going to be hung with and then this part's going to hang some different stuff. Now this is going to be part one to this video because part two is where I'm going to show you how to make some beautiful roses using polymer clay. I'm going to show you how to use polymer clay and I have ordered um, several different colors here and I ordered the Sculpty Clay, the Sculpty 3, and let's see, and I've also ordered some Primo. Um, this color is Jungle. This one is called Violet. Um, this one is called Granny Smith, like a Granny Smith apple. Now, these are colors I'm going to show you, um, that I, but I'm not going to be... Um, I'll pick out the colors I want to work with that's going to match our beautiful piece here. Um, I also ordered wasabi and then white granite. I wanted to order a Primo accent. This is an accent clay where you want to add just a touch of a different type of clay to your pieces. Um, I ordered uh, pomegranate and peacock pearl. I might use some of that in there. I also ordered a Sculpty Accent um, Magenta Pearl, and that Peacock Pearl is also an accent. Um, I ordered, uh, let's see, this is a Pearl Accent. Now this one is beige. This one's an accent as well, and it is gray granite. And this one's turquoise. I love turquoise, so I'll order two of those. And see, we can blend some accented colors in there with a little bit of pearl, which I'm going to show you how to do that. I also ordered, of course, you got your basic white. You never can have too much white. So, and then I have blush and sunshine. And then lastly, I have, um, these are two called, yeah, it's just basic yellow. This is chocolate. Again, another white. And uh, crimson. It's a beautiful crimson color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out uh, what two I want to work with to create some uh, beautiful roses that I'm going to hand make and put on here. And I'm going to show you how to hand make those. Um, and then I'm going to show you the step by steps on how to do this. But uh, yes, I'm going to be doing a lot. I'm going to start uh, integrating some polymer clay techniques into my classes. So if you've always wanted to be get into it but was afraid to do it, um, just jump in there with me um, because I've always wanted to work with this uh, work with this product really you know and uh, I'm really excited about it so all right so this is part one you saw how I created the um, frame and if you're watching part one and I haven't uploaded part two yet stay tuned because it's gonna be fabulous so 
I'll see you in part two. Bye-bye.